Hi, this is Greg at ATS, and today we're going to look at how easy it is to use our ATVS system. Now, ATVS stands for Automatic Temperature and Velocity Scanning, and this EATVS product is a compact version that has either four or eight channels, and we have a larger unit, the ATVS 2020, which can be fitted with up to 32 ports. Now, all the connections for this unit are on the back panel. Uh, first, we're going to connect our power here. It's an included power supply. And uh, next is the US standard USB connector to the computer. And then here we have three sensors. And the sensors are, are keyed so that they can only go in one way. <clears throat> and each sensor has its own individual ID chip, so uh, you can put any sensor into any channel and the unit will be able to tell which is which. Uh, in our benchtop wind tunnel today, the BWT-104, uh, we have a PCB that's been mocked up here with some uh, fake, fake components and some real heat sinks with heaters. Uh, we've already placed two of our candlestick sensors in here to monitor the incoming air velocity and temperature. And we're just going to put a third uh, candlestick sensor in here to monitor the approach velocity uh, to this heat sink here. So that goes right in there with the included double, double sided foam stick tape. Um, also, in the wind tunnel, we have some additional sensors that are being used with our wind tunnel controller, the WTC 100. And, and these candlestick sensors here are providing closed loop uh, control of the, of the air velocity. Uh, so we're all set here, and we'll just cover on here. So when you start our included stage view software for the ATVS, um, you'll come to the system setup screen. Uh, now the screen shows, right, right here you can, you can pick which sensors are, are on and off, um, and there's actually an easy way to tell what sensors we have, you have attached. Uh, there's a button here called check sensors. Um, if you click on that, it scans the unit. Uh, in a few seconds, it tells you that we have uh, three sensors attached right here on ports one, two, and three. So if you go back to the system setup screen, you have port one, two, and three selected. Uh, here you enter the, the COM port that the instrument is connected to. Um, it's usually easiest to, uh, if you right click on my computer, um, it will tell you what COM port uh, it's connected to. Here you can select the temperature units. Uh, you know, degree C or Fahrenheit. Um, here is the, the velocity units. Um, the overall test duration uh, in minutes, you know, how long you want the test to run. Um, here you can select to save the data, or if you just want to run without saving data, you can uncheck that box. And uh, you just put the file name right in here. Now, there are two ways to run the instrument. One is the easy mode, and, and one is the fast mode. In the easy mode, you can uh, select the data output rate. Uh, right now it's one, one data point every second. And it takes 10 samples per second that can be changed also. But it, it takes 10 measurements and it averages it. And so in the data, you'll see uh, one data point come out every second. And that's an average of uh, 10 samples. Um, this is how, how long it measures the temperature and how long it measures the velocity. So you're going to get uh, 10, se 10 seconds and 10 samples. The other mode is fast mode, uh, where the unit just measures um, as, as many samples per second as it can. <clears throat> and uh, you select how many temperature samples you want it to take, and then it switches, the unit switches to the velocity mode, and then it, and then it measures uh, the given number of velocity samples. Uh, delay between measurements, if, if you want to have, let it have some settling time between measurements, you can, uh, you can increase this time. There is a minimum time built in already. So we'll try easy mode. So since we've already completed our connections on the unit, we can just hit start. And the system will initialize and begin taking readings. <clears throat> so here we see it, the unit is measuring temp air temperature, so it, it measured for 10 seconds, and 
and came up with 10 samples. Down here on the bottom, we can see the results of, of those samples, the, the minimum reading, the maximum reading, and, and the mean. So now the unit has switched over to velocity, and uh, we can see the velocity inside our wind tunnel at the three different sensors. And again, we have some uh, statistics down here, the minimum, the mean, and the maximum. And the unit will continue to switch back and forth between the temperature and the velocity scanning until the test is, is completed, until the time that, that you've dictated. Or you can always hit stop here and it, and it will stop and uh, it will stop after the next cycle is done and the data will be saved into the text file. And usually the easiest way to open the text file is, is in Excel and then the data will be organized uh, automatically into the columns. And that's how easy it is to use our EATBS system. Now to learn more about our ATBS systems and other instruments such as our wind tunnels and the software that we include with them, uh, please visit our website at www.qats.com.